question is, is have you failed with a hard money loan before? Well, failure is subjective. <laughs> the answer to that is yes, we have failed with hard money before. Everybody is going to fail at some point. And if failure, does that mean have you lost all your money? Or did you not make all the money you had hoped you were going to make? Um, how did you handle that? And I think that's what people probably want to know. Yeah, so why am I here? <laughs> and that's the point. If you, if you don't fail at real estate doing something, not you're not doing enough, enough deals. Yeah. Um, you're, you're always going to have a stinker now and again. So... And you have things put into place to... All you can do is minimize... That's right. Um, the... The sting. Yeah. The sting. How so, much of a failure is it going to be? That's right. And you do that by your underwriting, the, the risk that you're taking. Mm -hmm. You're never going to lend 100%. You're going to have a cushion. And you do that so when it does fail, uh, you have a, you know, a buffer between what it's worth, how you can get out from under it, and getting your money back. And the main thing is you want to get your principal back first and foremost. Right. If you get your principal back, guess what? It You've uh, just educated yourself. It's been a lesson learned. You didn't lose any money. You've lost time and you've lost the opportunity right. of investment. But, <coughs> and that's me. probably the thing that, that um, bothers people the most yeah. is... Uh, most people are, it's the time that it takes out of your day to day and what you need to do. Cause you want to be focused on making money, not just trying to keep the money that you have. So some of the fail safe things that we have in place and that we recommend to everybody is we never lend more than 70% of what that after repaired value is. Right. We control all of the rehab funds. Right. We don't do a loan and then give that person that money. We inspect on every draw. We want to make sure that they not only have finished what they say they finished, but how much money do they have left in the account to be able to finish the property. And we only lend with people that, that, that we are know. good character. Mm -hmm. That we know, like, and trust. And you, you have to understand that there's always, well, not always, but there, there are life situations that happen. People don't go into a loan expecting not to pay you. Right. Hopefully. They don't. They don't do that, <laughs> right? Not not if you cover your bases with the, right. the character part, um, making sure it's a property that uh, is going to hold up, uh, and do all your due diligence. Um, so the other thing too is we don't just go in and say, "Oh, you're late. We're going to take the house back." We want to do what we can to drag that person sure. across the finish line. You know, if we need to give them a couple of months not to pay so that they can get the things done that they need to get done so they can put it on the market. Whatever the issue is, is we, we want to get them to that point where they can get out of it whole and where we can get out of it whole, get our money back as well. Cause we're building a relationship. We're sure. not trying to um, and get houses. The bottom line is there's, there's risk involved in uh, anything you do right. when you put your money up. Uh, you just need to try to minimize that risk as much as possible. Right. And control. If you don't understand it, get someone that does understand it and partner with them. Right. Invest alongside of them until you learn it. And even when you do learn it, things are going to happen. I mean, we've been doing, I've been doing it 30 years. Wendy's been doing it, uh, what, 25? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> we always say that she started when she was 12. <laughs> anyway, um, bottom line is you got to do it. Yeah. All right. Thanks.